Okay, this next question um, is similar to one of the points that Dr. Rosenberg raised at your recent debate. Does the existence of God as a hypothesis have little predictive power in the realm of human observation? This was a point that he raised in his final speech, and then I responded to that during the Q&A time when a student raised it. And what I pointed out was that while predictability is one virtue, one scientific or theoretical virtue, it's not the only one and not always applicable. Uh, for example, there are at least three different interpretations of the special theory of relativity. And they are all make the same empirical predictions. So in terms of their predictable, uh, in terms of their um, predictability or their predictive power, they're all equal and yet they're different theories. Um, and, and they're all different scientifically viable ways of explaining the phenomenon, even though it's impossible to decide amongst them based on their predictive power. In cases like that, scientists will use other theoretical virtues like simplicity, explanatory power, explanatory scope, degree of ad hocness, and so forth as a means of adjudicating such theories. So predictability is not the only explanatory virtue in, to be used in assessing theories. Now, just as in the case of special relativity, predictability is not useful in assessing these competing interpretations, so I think predictability is not very useful in assessing the God hypothesis. Why? Because in the case of the God hypothesis, you're dealing with a free agent. And when you're dealing with a free agent, it's very, very difficult to make predictions of what a free agent would do. You could make some rough guesses, but it's very different from a scientific experiment where you're dealing with mechanistic causes which necessarily produce certain results and therefore are easily predicted. When you're dealing with a free agent, predictability is simply not the sort of relevant criterion to use. Rather, I think the God hypothesis should be assessed in terms of its explanatory power. What does it help us to explain? And as I've tried to show this evening, the God hypothesis is very powerful in terms of its explanatory ability. It explains a wide range of the data of human experience and therefore has a great deal to commend it. Uh, and so for that reason, I'm not real worried about our inability to predict what God does.